People think of this as a game event. I think of this as a public art event. <laughs> Technology has sort of made us isolated from each other. I want us to be with each other and play with each other. It is the biggest Tetris in the world, but beyond that, it will be the biggest video game in the world. This is the Sierra Center. It's a beautiful asymmetric glass skyscraper in the city of Philadelphia. It has LED lights, uh, about 1,400 or so. If you could tell, there's a light, LED light fixture right there. And we're basically hacking into those lights to create an amazing art slash game of Tetris for uh, this week's Philly Tech Week. We've got two modes. One is we're going to play on the north side and also be reflected on the south side. But we also want to do two people playing north against south. When the blocks fall, you can fill up a row. Normally that just disappears, but in a two-person Tetris, that row is going to show up on your opponent's side. Part of the thing is a restriction because the, even though it's a giant building, the resolution on the building, the number of pixels that we actually get to turn on and off, is really very, very small. Most people's phones have a higher resolution than the building that we're working with. Last year, for the first time ever, we put on the interactive game of Pong for Philly Tech Week 2013. That was officially recognized by Guinness Book of World Records as the largest architectural video game display. Um, I just simply think of it as the largest display in the world. The Tetris game this year will be twice as big, so on paper it is going to be the next world record. We just have to go through the formal process uh, of recognition. Tetris is a cultural icon. A nine-year-old child will know Tetris. Ninety-year-old grandmother will know Tetris. You put it over there. It is worthwhile celebrating the fact that it's been with us for 30 years, and Tetris still being made. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Don't scare me like that. I, I won. <laughs>